Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, filter wheels, many of us use them. Uh, I've just currently recently swapped them back to my one shot colour camera, as I said in a previous video. And I'm finding that I'm using three to four different filters. So I thought, why not get a filter wheel for the one shot colour camera? So I reached out to Astro Aces, who I knew had just released a new filter wheel, and they very kindly sent me one which i've got here it's came in the same box as their focus has come in and it's very well packed and uh, i've actually got the seven times two inch version here because i use two inch versions with my uh one shot color camera and i think they also do this in the seven times 36 millimeter uh, variety as well so in the box you get the filter wheel Again, all metal construction, and you'll probably notice, very, very thin. There's no motor protruding at all. It's all built in inside the actual wheel itself. Um, also in the box, you get a lot of other bits and bobs, including adapters, M54, M48. Also a 16.5 millimeter adapter because this filter wheel is 21 millimeters thick. So with this and standard back focus on cameras, it will give you the 55 millimeters required. You get a spare band, which is what's used to rotate the carousel. You also get for unmounted filters, you get rubber seals, you get a bunch of screws, the USB cable, some tools and also two inch filter masks because this will take two inch filters and two inch unmounted filters so you get everything you need in the box so the filter wheel itself as i said it's 21 millimeters thick their logo front and back now the weight of this is 800 grams the uh, zwo equivalent is 650 they're seven times two inch filter wheel and the QHY 7x2 inch is 911 grams. So this sits somewhere in the middle. Uh, I only got about four or five filters, but because they only do a 7x2 uh, seven inch version and a 7x36 mil, obviously I went for this one. Whether they will do a 5x2 inch in the future, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to show you the workings of it inside few different things I want to talk about there and then we'll have a look on the computer uh, show you the driver and the different settings in the driver there are a few different options in this the one thing it has got is three speeds uh, which is good um, there's also a few other options in the driver that I want to talk through so uh, I'm just going to take the cover off this now just show you the inside of it and uh, and then we're going to get onto the computer uh, and we're going to go from there to remove the front off this, it's just a series of screws all around the outside and then a centre Allen bolt. And you do get the screwdriver in the kit and the Allen key needed to do this. Uh, okay, so I've taken the front off the filter wheel. And as I said before, this is driven by a belt all the way around the outside or, or a large O-ring is probably more accurate. And then at the bottom you can see there's a switch there which is a locator and the motor on that side. Now this only rotates in one direction, it's a single direction, um, which I think is good because my QHY was a uh, multi-direction and I found I had nothing but problems with that and they had to release a firmware to make it just one direction. Uh, and this has got a physical switch there. Now the good thing about this is that it hasn't happened yet, but if you find that this does not completely match up with the outside hole. In other words, it's slightly off center. There is a way they send you a pin in the pack and you can put the pin in there to hold it in position. And then you can undo these two screws on the switch and you can slightly adjust that to calibrate it to get it absolutely bang on central. Like I say, it hasn't happened yet, but you have got this option to do it. And the pin that you need to hold it in the exact position is in the bag with the other tools. So it's very, very neat. Obviously numbered around the inside there, your different filters. And there, if you can hear this, there is a physical 
an audible click when it goes past each one um, doesn't bother me don't think it will bother anybody else but um, you do hear that as it as it's rotating when it's on the fast speed it is pretty fast as well but I'll show you that on the computer so that's what it looks like on the inside like I say this is a seven times two inch I'm not sure if you can change the carousels or whether you have to buy a complete new wheel if you want the 7x36. I would think you probably do. Uh, I'm not sure about that though. That's one thing I might have to just find out and put in the comments for you. On the camera side of the filter wheel, and I think it's the same, yeah, it is the same on the other side. There's a little recess, as you can see, around the hole. And you get these rubber that fit in the recess. This is if you use an adapter that's wider than the recess that goes to the outside. These can fit in there just to make sure there's absolutely no light leak at all, which I think is a good touch. And there's one for the, the other side as well. Now the adapters that come with it, you've got an M54 to M42. Uh, and you've also got another M54, M42 male to male adapter. And as I said before, you've got the 16.5, which I think is great. And you've also got a tool for removing these adapters as well, which again is a nice touch. On the outside of these adapters, you've got two small holes and then you've got a, a tool which fits into those. So I can get it to slot in like that. Locks in place to allow you to remove these because we all know how difficult these adapters can be to remove when you've got them in and they've you know, they've been out in the cold and the hot and the warm and there's nothing you can grip on them. I think it's great that they include a tool to remove those and that's something that I think all manufacturers should do when they provide these very thin adapters for filter wheels and other accessories. I know in the past I've had to put them in the freezer and then when I get them out I've had to put a rubber flip-flop on the bottom to try and release them so that's another nice touch. Like I say, you get the USB cable. It's USB-C. It's completely powered from that. Um, there is a boost mode in the software for the motor. If it's really cold and it needs a bit of a boost. But you do need a USB output that will supply one amp or more for that to work. Um, as I said, you get the filter mass for two inch filters. And a spare band because this is driven by the o-ring which i think you can just see down there there's a belt that goes all the way around the outside and you get a spare one of those um, so let's jump on the computer then install the, the ascom driver and just talk you through the few settings that are in the uh, the software and the driver and uh, perhaps show you this running as well Okay, so to get the uh, driver for the uh, Astro Oasis filter wheel, if you go to the Astro Oasis website and then to the filter wheel and download page, scroll down till you see the filter wheel and you'll see the user manual, ASCOM driver and firmware. And you just want to download the ASCOM driver. It's as simple as that. And this will enable you to use the filter wheel in any of your Astro imaging software. And then it's just a case of double clicking on the driver, installing it just like any other ASCOM driver. So now let's take a look at using this in Nina. Okay, so you opened up Nina, you've gone to the filter wheel tab, you go to the drop down box, you choose the Oasis filter wheel, and then you click on this settings button here. Okay, so when you open the settings dialog box, you will get this box appear, and this is all the settings for within the driver. At the top here, you've got the name. You've got a friendly name that you can give it, it's your own personal description. It's got a built-in temperature sensor, so it's giving you the ambient temperature. All your filter names you can change here. You can also give them offsets, but you'll probably do that within your own software. You've got the three speeds here, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You've got a turbo mode, which basically puts an extra bit of power to the motor, but you need at least a 5 volt, 1 amp. USB port for that to work properly. Anything that you change in here you need to apply it. There's a calibrate button, a factory reset, park, OK and cancel. So when you've got everything in there set as you want it you would then click the OK button. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to OK this and then I'm going to show you a video of the uh, 
three speeds. I'm going to change the speeds and show you a video of each one running so you can just see the difference. Okay, so first of all, we're going to set this to slow. We're going to hit apply and then we're going to go slow speed. And we're going to change this to normal speed, hit apply. Okay, and that's normal speed. And then we're going to go to the fast speed, hit apply. And there you can see that's pretty quick on the fast speed. And once you've got all the settings exactly as you want them, you will just hit the connect button as normal. And then as you can see, it's listed. Now, if you have named your filters within the driver, they will show here the different names that you've given them. And then this now can be incorporated into your imaging sequences, just as any other filter wheel. So my final thoughts on this, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It is, it's a filter wheel, it's solidly made. I do like the fact that it's 21 mil thick and with the 16.5 adapter you get, it'll fit most cameras uh, out there on the market with the 17.5 back focus. Solidly made, it fits between the ZW and the QHY as regards weight. It works exactly as it should. I'll definitely be putting this on my one shot color setup and they're running my two inch filters in it. Uh, I don't foresee any problems. Um, so yeah, I do recommend it. Um, I have used a ZWO in the past. I've also used a QHY and I still own a QHY on my mono setup. Uh, and this competes with those absolutely fine. It's just as good, does everything that it should do. So if you found this useful, think about subscribing if you haven't already and uh, giving me a like and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.